The twin-engine deck-based fighter program has achieved a critical milestone, as the wing-folding mechanism has now been cleared, after its engineering test model was developed and successfully demonstrated, and now a working scale model of the wing-folding mechanism will now be developed and tested. It is the first time a wing-folding mechanism has been developed in the country, and this 300 kg wing-folding mechanism will allow the TED-BF to fit into the elevators of aircraft carriers, as well as better utilization of the storage space at the lower decks that is used for maintenance of aircraft. British firm Gravity Industries gave a capability demonstration of its Daedalus flight pack to the Indian Army yesterday. The Daedalus is powered by five microgas turbines. The unit weighs 27 kilograms and has a maximum flight time of 10 minutes with a speed of 137 kilometers per hour and it can reach altitudes of 2,000 feet. The Indian Army aims to procure 48 jetpacks with modern propulsion systems for increased tactical mobility along the line of actual control. Russia has delivered the 3rd Squadron of Indian Air Force's S-400 system to India earlier today, and Russian officials have said that the remaining 4th and 5th Squadron will be delivered by the end of 2023. The Indian Air Force has already deployed the 1st Squadron at an airbase in the northwestern sector, while the 2nd Squadron has also been deployed along the northern borders with China. U.S. firm Profence has delivered 22 M134 mini gun systems to the Indian Air Force, that will be equipped on the upgraded Mi-17 helicopters. The 7.62x51mm M134 has a range of 1000 meters, and is capable of firing 6000 rounds per minute. India's leading tyre manufacturing company MRF Tyres has developed a new line of aero muscle nose wheel tyres and main wheel tyres for the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, that will replace the Dunlop tyres that was supplied by the US headquartered tyre manufacturer. The trials of the tyres have begun, and it will soon be cleared for the Tejas Mark 1 and Mark 1A. MRF has also developed slightly bigger tyres for Tejas Mark 2 fighter jets that will be equipped on the aircraft from early stages. The RDO's electronics and radar development establishment is developing a compact AESA airborne surveillance radar weighing 25 kilograms for small and medium-sized unmanned platforms that are currently under development. The compact radar will be highly efficient and will feature self-cooling technology and will be integrated on armed hail class UAVs, loyal wingman program and unmanned stealth strike platforms. After completing its refit, Indian Navy's aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya has started carrying out sea trials that will be completed soon, and the carrier will then perform operational roles. As per latest information, Russia has offered to supply 26 MiG-29K carrier bond fighters for the Navy's second aircraft carrier INS Week Grant, while the Indian Navy has decided to procure 26 Rafale Marine very soon, and also retire all MiG-29K fighter jets by 2035. Indore Air Systems has developed an enhanced version of its Vibram G gasoline-powered UAV, that has an enlarged canopy to accommodate an additional fuel tank, that increases its fuel capacity to 4 litres from the previous 2.5 litres. It has a maximum range of 100 kilometres, an endurance of 3 hours, a maximum takeoff weight of 15 kilograms, and a maximum speed of 60 kilometres per hour. Oh, my God.